guess what? It's finally sweater weather! Hi there, welcome to Keeping Your Heart. My name is Renee. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, for those who haven't met Keeping Your Heart before, uh, we are all about keeping your heart engaged. And so what is it that we need to do in order to do that? Well, sometimes we need organization, sometimes we need uh, beauty, sometimes we need connection, but whatever those things are, that's what we're doing here. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and the little bell that'll give you the notification that there is a video that has gone up so you don't miss out on anything that we are doing here. Today is going to be a bullet journaling. So it um, we're already into November, but I did, do my bullet journal before November occurred. I just didn't film the process. So I go back and forth between whether y'all like the process videos or not. So I thought I would just give you a walkthrough of what November looks like this month and show you some of the things that I changed up. And it includes like my gratitude journal and then some of the other things that I usually track and the ways that I'm looking at that. So we'll see how it goes, but um, I'm having so much fun with, with cooler weather finally here in Southern California. We, um, even up to last week, uh, in November in the nineties, not fun y'all. Um, I've been very excited for the cold and to be able to put a sweater on and, um, drink my hot beverage and get all cuddled up. So loving that. So anyway, let me just go ahead and get to the, the fun part here. And, uh, let's take a look at this, uh, bullet journal walkthrough for November. 2020 and I will see you on the other side. So super excited to share with you the November 2020 monthly spread. So as you can see here opening up a lot of fall going on here so what you see here these are actually things that I stamped and then colored in and cut out to put on here so a little bear an owl with trees on the forest floor. And in the stamp set, it also had happy hearts. So this came from one of my Simon Says stamp kits that I subscribed to. Had a lot of fun with that. And then as I am working on my script there, my brush script, getting better a little all the time. Um, had fun with these alcohol markers. So this is my first kind of foray into those and working on shading and um, learning about how things bleed and don't bleed and, <laughs> and all that. So that was the cover for November. And then um, this, um, oh my goodness, I just knocked my out of office uh, off the calendar. Um, so in November, the colors, as you can see, are, come from these different washies that I have. And I included one from last month too that really just went along with the colors. So these are, you might have seen these before in other gears that I've had my um, fall collection. So a lot of the orange, yellow, green, red colors here. They're forest animals. There, so um, see gratitude and um, the theme for this month is to cling to faithfulness. And so one of my favorite hymns written here in the margin. And this great um, translucent sticker, it says live in faith and hope. So lots going on here, lots of things happening. And then um, this year, or this month, because uh, I wanted to change up the gratitude journal a little bit, because usually I listen to one thing a day. And this one, um, these are gratitude spheres. So I was looking at some different places in my life that um, I was grateful about. And um, so I just wrote these down. And I'll be adding these so it's not a I'm not limited to 30 I can do a lot more than 30 and write it in these different places you see home God um, chosen family friends um, creativity um, love kindness beauty truth peace hope those types of things well, actually hope's not on there but because <laughs> hope is in other places but um so that was there and then my focus for my heart mind body and soul and those are being central to who i am as a person um for those who haven't yet seen well uh 
well, mo no, none of you has really seen the tattoo for that, but we'll do that another time. So uh, work, what I'm going to work and focus on in each of those areas. So for heart, work on opening your heart to save people and developing more trust. Mind, keep asking for help and get back, get your focus back. Body, track it all so you know what to change. And soul, spend time in contemplation and application. Um, so did some things have focused around that this year or this month and then I uh, had my fiscal goals and so this is pretty exciting and also tells me I messed up somewhere <laughs> like tracking <laughs> because this is supposed to say um, something probably along the lines of 8765 um, because there's four more weeks after November but these are the weeks of November they're supposed to be represented here and so Christmas saving was six dollars five dollars four dollars and three dollars so if you do math really quick you know that's eighteen dollars toward the Christmas fund um, so that's if you want to take a qu quick peek here at my beginning year goals my fiscal goals here for savings so the Christmas goal was thirteen hundred seventy eight dollars and so I started in, in January first week was $52, then $51, $50, $49, all the way down. And like I said, somewhere along the line, if I skipped ahead two weeks, oh well. Uh, but that means we have Christmas money saved up, which is great because everything that's happened with coronavirus, we don't, we wouldn't have any other money for Christmas. So I'm glad that we were able to do that. Um, and then our vacation fund, um, because my uh, husband needs to go, um, check in with my in-laws because of health and stuff um so um setting that, that aside for there and that has been a goal this year we've spent quite a bit of it already um but i'm glad that we've been able to do that and then um best year 2020 november so i've got my some business things in here so you know you know business got quarterly taxes blah 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 um so fiscal mental physical spiritual relational i'm gonna flip past this because that's not um but it, that's what I normally do um here social connections oh, I just get to add one today because I'm super excited I'm gonna cover these names because it's nobody's business um I'm excited because I just made plans with somebody um to see them this month in person so my goal this month was to see four people in person of course socially distanced and responsible because cases are going up uh, this week and um, so we'll put it there and then I'm my uh, birth mother is going to also come and visit so that'll be in there as well and then my affirmation notes so you see this hearts here right so heart uh, mind body soul so these are the relationship focuses and then here's some goals so I added some trackers this time um, because I really am trying to see where am I falling short in follow-through Okay, and so <clears throat> I need to color some of these in. I'll do it later. Um, so I'm <laughs> behind tracking some of my things, which is a, is a shame uh, for sure. But the, so this one here, so this is um, Soul, and this is my spiritual plan. So my spiritual planner, and I will do a video on my, all the different planners I'm using right now because I have found I can't fit everything in here and keep it organized. So I've had to kind of split it up. So I have my uh, spiritual planner that is um, just really um, focusing down on um, the things that I need to uh, really keep in my mind throughout the day. And then I have my goal planner, uh, which I got because I had a little tiny one and I couldn't, <laughs> it didn't hold all my stuff. So goal planner, this is pretty much just business related. So that's this one here and it's 18 month undated. And so I've been filling that out and um, I'm actually super excited for all the things that I have already started getting in here. Um, so I am, I am well on my way for the, all of those, super excited. And then my wellness planner, which I've had for a while. Um, and that is this one here which I need to cut out. Um, see, I just drew heart with my finger. <laughs> I need to cut this uh, a one in gold out and add it to here so it's heart, mind, body, and soul. Um, when I saw this cover, I thought, oh my goodness, I totally have to get that. So um, all those planners, you saw one happy planner and two recollections planners from Michaels. And so they go on sale all the time. Um, they're just all the time. So you, you never have to pay full price for those. 
So those are the goals. And then um, I am working, pushing really hard um, on my book this month. And so one of my tasks for this week is to write out the plan of the different things that I need to um, get together and um, to get that that edited draft finished. And um, I have my, my birth mother's coming out and helping me edit, so that's very cool. And then this is my Pomodoro plan, so um, I actually need to check some of these off, so, and we'll have another, eventually, video about what a Pomodoro is, but this is where I just set aside this time that's uninterrupted, that is dedicated, so I can get into flow and get some things done. So excited for that. Um, and then moving into, this is my pretty much my normal spread, right? So these are the things that have been um, really helpful for me for tracking. One thing that I am tracking right now is I started taking these um, supplements in the morning and in the afternoon and that has been or in the evening. I need to update it. <laughs> but um, I'm taking them and it's definitely helping with a lot of things which is pretty amazing. And then one thing that I've started doing new here is um, I have started blocking out my time during the week so that I am aware of um, what how much time I'm spending on things. I used to do that as a at the top of the planner and each day and track through. But this was more of a this is more of a setting the time aside. So time blocking uh, to understand uh, of course the color coding has to do with what's happening at different times of the or different types of meetings and um, the reason I'm doing this is so that I can set time aside for um, my business so I have my full-time plus job that I do and then my home life and then aside from that the separate business of the different YouTube channels and Etsy and the blog and the book and the, all the things. So I need to, I realized I needed to set time aside for that um, and be able to see it. So that is the November um, walkthrough. Um, I didn't I didn't want to <laughs> wait on doing it to until I could film, and so I wasn't able to film at the time that I was putting it together because I was too sick. Um, so there you go, there's that, and I hope that um, you find some inspiration in these pages and layout and maybe some of these new things that I'm doing, and then at the end of the month we will go through and see which things really helped and which things I would change next time. Wasn't that so much fun? I love the little bears and owl and trees. This whole um, journey into alcohol marker coloring is very different than other coloring that I've done before. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, I did limit the amount of, of uh, Copic markers that I allowed myself to get because, you know, budgets, life, those types of things. But been having a lot of fun with that, so I'm hoping to show some of that in some of the upcoming videos because creative expression is a form of self-care. It's how we take care of ourselves. Um, it's how we add to the beauty in this world. It's how we discover new things. Um, and it is how we get to express ourselves. So that's an important part of keeping your heart, which is why we're doing it here. Would love to see any ways that you've been inspired by the layout or some of the things that I've done as far as um, ways I'm looking at different processes and things to keep track of. So if you do that and you want to put a photo up on Instagram, please tag me at this little tag thingy right here, whatever that's called. Um, and then um, there's all kinds of stuff on the website where that you can, you know, um, go ahead and subscribe to that uh, email list as well right here. And then you can get um, notifications when we've got freebies and giveaways and um, other things that are coming up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It's time. Press that button. Smash it. Smash, 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 smash. Anyway, <laughs> okay, that's it. That's my last little plug for stuff. There's more videos in these other two little boxes here on the screen. Until next time, uh, thanks so much for joining me for this. And don't forget, most important thing, don't forget to keep your heart. Okay.